ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all back here today. So first off, I do apologize for the delay in episodes. You know, we had about three days there on the channel where I didn't have any content. You know, work's just been really, really busy, and uh, we had some big releases coming up. So, uh, you know, the reason a lot of YouTubers actually record content ahead of time, and I, I really don't. I usually record content the day before so I can take any user feedback and make sure to apply that to the next episode. Uh, but anyways, with that being said, we're back up and running. We're back here from the depths, and we are ready to continue our uh, our campaign against the Tsunami Genesis here. So, to help us accomplish that, we are bringing in two more community ships today. Now, you may recognize one of these. It's the old Rayfish, or as, as one of you fine chaps has called them, the old Ratfish. <laughs> uh, so, apparently this was my bad. I had this spawned in way too low in the last episode. It was apparently in the water. I definitely did not mean to do that, and we will be spawning this correctly this time. And I went and looked at it in the vehicle designer. It works great. Uh, as long as it's spawned correctly and enemies are near, this thing is fantastic. Now the other uh, community ship we're bringing in is called the KF-15. So we're just going to go take a look really quick at this KF-15. This is such a cool ship. I love these, these little fighter builds. Uh, let's just spawn one of these in here. Let's warp our character. Oh jeez. Oh, we can't. Okay. Uh, I'll have to try to... Actually, we'll just slow things down. I was going to say, we'll just go into build mode and get on this thing. Let's take the interface off. Here is the KF-15. I love the look. Absolutely love the look. So fantastic. Now, this does have flares. And we are going to take a look at these missile systems if we can. Let's get on the bottom here. We'll go ahead and speed this back up now that we are attached. So, let's see. These uh, central two missiles... They are using a couple of fins, fuel tank, one fuel tank, wow, three torpedo propellers, oh my god, ballast tank, one turn, TPG, two frags with uh, a 25 cone and a 15 cone, and an explosive, and an EMP, oh my gosh, and an infrared seeker, <laughs> uh, although one fuel tank, these are not going to be flying very far, I believe, or, or these are just torpedoes, so with three propellers, I don't know how far torpedoes can go with just three propellers. Uh, no, you know, how quickly, like, a fuel pin, a tank depletes, I'm not sure. So over here we have three fins, short-range thruster, two fuel tanks, frags set to 25-15 explosive, and a laser designator. Okay, so, uh, the main, looks like the main payload, these are missiles. And right on the sides here, we got these little short ones. Ah, little variable thrusters set to 1800. Okay, so these are the, the faster missiles on the wings here. Really cool, I love this layout, this is fantastic. And, of course, on the sides, we do have flares. And these are nice. These are our quad setup. Four sticky flares, so they should generate a lot of heat. Should attract missiles. So that's the KF-15. Let's get off of build mode here. Let's go ahead and pull this back out of play. So we have... Uh, I decided to bring in five of these. They were so cheap. And two of the Ray Fish. We got these bad mothers in the Ray's Taco fleet. And we're just going to go ahead and try this out first. Little tester against this 21 enemy strength. Tsunami Genesis Square. Oh, and the other good news is, I finally was able to update to the latest version of the custom campaign, Terrace Asunder. We are on 0.8.2 right now, and that is absolutely great. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this battle started. We're ready to rock. Oh, one of the other things I did. I know I did so much. Um, I scrapped a lot of our captured forces, which is how we were able to get so much metal. So we got that going for us as well. We're doing okay right now. So... All right, I've got the Rayfish. I, I should have our fleet already set up here. I did this before I started recording. We're, we're spawning the Rayfish at 22 meters. Uh, you know, if anything, they will sink back down a little bit if they're too high up. And then here we have all of the KF-15s. They're all at different altitudes. So 293, 147. In fact, in fact, I'm going to move these back a little bit. I'm going to move some to the extreme sides. I just, I really want to try to minimize... Uh, the, the, the KF-15s ramming each other. And let's make sure they're all facing the right direction. Okay, we'll get you, uh, we'll get some a little close. Oh, yeah, 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 nice and close. And we'll get this guy kind of back here. All right, a little smattering of start locations. And we'll put one of the Rayfish over here. All right, beautiful. And we're going to spawn in on this guy. This is the one we're going to be spawning in on. All right, here we go. Let's do this. I honestly imagine that we should just, like, totally dominate this. Let's go ahead and get off the weapons. Let's get the interface off. So Rayfish are firing like crazy. 
here's what we're dealing with. The torrents. So loud. Look how fast those missiles are when they come in. It's crazy. So here come a lot of the missiles from the KF-15s. Woo! What a coordinated strike. Absolutely love it. Look at that. Oh, taking some hits, though. Taking some major hits. Come on, KF-15s. And the Rayfish are just doing lovely. Just doing absolutely lovely. Let's take a look at our health here. Uh, some of our KF-15s have taken some damage. No problem. Oh, don't ram each other. And they heal. Oh, I love you. I love you, KF-15. Yeah, I want it's, It just reminds me of KF, KFC for some reason. All right, there we go. Yeah, the Rayfish. Wow. I feel so bad that I spawned those in so incorrectly in the last episode. To the author of the Rayfish, I am very sorry, sir. Uh, these work phenomenal. If I said otherwise, I totally take it all back. These are absolutely glorious. Okay, so the first test. Our first test here. It gets 22 strength. It's all good. Everything looks good. KF-15s have practically healed each other up. No! Oh! Oh my gosh. So many opportunities for short bussing. It is crazy. Our, wow, I mean, we, we are all healed up. So we're going to go after the 67 force next. This is the one that I wanted us to focus on. I wanted us to try for. Let's give this a go. Let's go ahead and grab this square while we're here. All right, we're going to move. So I, I still have a little bit of our captured forces. The reason I'm keeping these down here is just as cannon fodder, just in case uh, the Tsunami Genesis sends somebody at us from uh, uh, some place I'm not expecting. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 balls, balls, stop. Balls are swaying. Uh, no, I don't. No, no, get out of there. Okay, these go at 3 meters a second, 19, 5 meters a second. These go at 28. Let's try to get this battle first. Come on, baby. Please, please spawn them. Yes, 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 yes. All right, perfect. Perfect, my friends. Let's see what we're going to be dealing with here. A cloud burst. All right, this is going to be a very tough battle. This is going to be really tough. The cloud burst is a beast. It shoots so many missiles. It will be devastating. If, if it lands on our KF-15s, we are we're going to be plumb out of luck. <laughs> we are going to be screwed. Okay, let's, uh, let's readjust a little bit here. KF-15s, we'll get them on the outskirts. Just a little bit of the circle. I would like one to start really close. And our Rayfish have just a phenomenal range on their missiles. So we're going to start them back a little bit. KF-15 and a KFC over here. And we're going to, of course, pop in one of the Rayfish because the KF-15s don't have seats. All right. Okay. Here's the enemy. We also have a Typhoon and a Meramato and the old Cloud Burst. I wouldn't mind capturing the Cloud Burst, but it is really tough to capture. Oh, those mainframes are just so well placed in that thing. It's it's just insane. Okay, here we go. We're on the ship. Let's make sure we're not on the weapons. We're not on the weapons. Interface off. The Rayfish, or should I say the Ratfish, are firing away. KF-15s. Looking good. Now, here's, here's the thing. Here come some of the missiles. Will they connect? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Those KF-15s are, are pretty resilient, but we'll see how they fare against the cloud burst and look at this screenshot baby that is what I'm talking about all right let's get a lay of the land here KF 15 up in the air there's another one they're doing some circles if they're doing circles like that I imagine they have been hit okay huge volley from the cloud burst now I don't believe the missiles have a very large range you can see here they're already falling out of the sky and we did set the rayfish really far back and the, the missiles on the Rayfish, they fire so fast. They use variable thrusters with a very high speed. Okay, let's get let's look around here. How are we doing? We're okay. We're okay. Uh, some of our KF-15s have been hit. You know, they've taken a little bit of damage. Let's take a look here. The Typhoon, down by about 300 blocks. Uh, Cloudburst is trying to lace one of our KF-15s with some shells. Nice little disbursement of shells there. You can see them on the horizon. This looks very cool, like the silhouette of the ships. Very neat. Okay, let's make sure we're not missing anything coming from the other angle. Now, we do have one of the rayfish closing in. Look at them. I love the way these fly. It's just phenomenal. The cloud burst, our biggest worry right now, is down by about 200 blocks. Another huge volley. Here's what the volley is. Yeah, see, the cloud burst just unleashes. And now, 
Our rayfish are within range. Oh, are they falling short? Yes, 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 yes. No. Dump, a little bit of no and a little bit of yes. 50 no's and a yes still means yes. That's what somebody would say. 007, maybe. You know, he's, he's got it. He's got the Lady Mac going on. KF-15. Missing some thrusters. He's going to be stuck in a continuous turn, but... Hey, you know, for as far as... Uh, as hitting with cannons is what I was going to say. The Cloudburst or anyone else, when a ship is stuck in a death spiral like that, cannons really, really have a hard time locking on. Okay, let's take a look at our health. KF-15s, still doing all right. They are healing up thanks to the uh, tentacles. They probably have some repair bots. I noticed the, the rayfish are just kind of chilling. Right, right over there. We have damaged one of the ships. This might be the Mermato. It is. It is. Two damage. She's going down. Okay, here we go. This guy's going to start hitting the rayfish. Are you kidding me? The rayfish are like... Are, are sitting right outside the range of missiles. That's... Amazingly impressive, actually. I mean, that, that couldn't be on purpose, right? Like, okay, this guy's a little bit closer. I was going to say, that's just incredible. And it's so foggy right now. Alright, what's going on over here? We got a little formation flying. Wow, this looks so cool. Check this out. Look at these guys. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't bang too hard. No, no, no. No. I hit y'all. I had to get a screenshot of that. It's just beautiful. Look at him. What destruction. Something about destruction, you know? Just twizzles my nerds in the right direction. Which is southbound. Never forget. Alright, Cloudburst, how you doing? We're down by about 900 blocks. We've taken off, uh, you know, a good percent there. Here comes a nice little volley coming down. Striking home, right in the middle. Ooh, a good hit. Look at this. What do we got down here? I swear, if I see a mainframe, I'm getting it. Just, okay, I've, I've learned my lesson from you all. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a little mainframe right there. <gasps> it's, it's a little mainframe. You know, I don't want to capture it in this episode. We're going to let the fleets try to uh, do their work. Do the good deed. We're still doing all right. Oh, one of our KF-15s. Oh, no, I try. Oops. Here it is. Where is it? No, we lost a ship. Oh, no, wait. No, it's healing up. Because <gasps> I landed my dude on it. Excellent. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you play this game. Very carefully. And uh, by warping your avatar around. You know, I wonder if, if warping the avatar is ever going to be, like, not a thing you can do. It's incredibly unrealistic when you're in a battle. Okay, formation flying. Some little blue angels action going on right here. What are you doing? A little love tap and then a, and then a flyby, you know? Take off. Just, two guys in the planes just saying hey, essentially. I imagine they're in the cockpit just waving while the other one just wrecks his wing. Okay, a 15 flying above there. Looking so great. Looking just, just majestic. Well, this is turning out really well. I, I'm actually thrilled with how the uh, the rayfish turned out. I still feel really bad that I spawned those in incorrectly. I just, I you know, as, as much as you go through to try to do something correct, you know, you know, you just never know. Things can go wrong. You can mess stuff up, especially when you're recording. It's like the magic eye. All right, I think we are taking that cloud burst out. It looks pretty wrecked over here. We are looking at, uh, yep, down by about 2,000 blocks. Rayfish are over here. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's warp inside this guy. Uh, that didn't warp me anywhere. Well, let's just find out where we are then. Whoop. Oh my gosh, I almost hit that missile. We are really far. Never mind. Never mind. I thought, you know, let's just go over here. Let's get the cloud burst. Because obviously the mainframe's just right down here. Oh, he's already healed up in the front, but... Actually, could have sworn. I, I thought I knew where the mainframe was. It was like right. Oh yeah, it's like right down here. Here it is. It's it's right back here. I think this is it right here. <laughs> Look how quick I found it. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! It's a total Texan thing. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. In fact, let's do it like this. You know, we can get a little top-down view here. Get the get the ocean. Uh, we can keep the ocean unrendered. A little bit easier. Here's our KF-15s. Much easier way to get a grand view of everything. You can see them circling. What a large circle radius. Just 
all around the Cloudburst. Here's the old Cloudburst. Rayfish doing all right. Health-wise, we're doing all right. Let's zoom down here. Take a look. How's the Cloudburst doing? If we render the ocean, oh, look, at those waves are kicking up. Look at this. And there we go. We've, we've wrecked the Cloudburst. These waves are getting intense right now. Woo! Yep, let's get back in here and Cloudburst. You can see all the parts just... Oh, yeah. Man, that feels like an endless stack of pancakes just funneling right into my face hole. It's essentially the most amazing thing ever. You know, just drizzle a little bit of syrup on top and we got ourselves a complete battle, my friends. There we are. Let's get back out of that view. Battle finished. All right. I love it. Right when the crazy weather kicked up here in the Tsunami Genesis area. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We're, we're stuck in another battle here. We've already been uh, chortled. Let's see. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will hold this next battle off for the next episode. Uh, the next two ships we're bringing in are going to be awesome. We're bringing in a sub called the Kronos, I believe. And it has a, it actually has like six sub spawns on it, and they're all subs as well. It's a sub with subs. It's so cool. I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be fun. And, uh, oh, one more thing. I'm opening up community ship submissions. Uh, I'm no longer, actually, hang on. Let me hit escape and save. And let me keep it on this screen just so uh, we don't get sucked into a battle. So I'm no longer taking small ships, okay? So any ship I take now, uh, if you submit something, uh, make sure it is 1,500 blocks or greater, but no more than 5,000 blocks. That's going to be our range, 1,500 to 5,000. And, uh, you know, really no limit within that. Uh, but that's going to be the, the range we're going for. Now, remember, we still have a larger queue as well. Those ships go up to like 70,000 blocks. Um, you know, that, that queue's been closed off, and I've trimmed it down to about 15 ships that we can use going forward. So, as we need really large ships, I'll be pulling from that queue, and I probably won't be accepting super large ships for the time being. Uh, just these medium ones. So, if you have anything in that 1,500 to 5,000 block range, feel free to submit them, and uh, we will start creating a queue for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been absolutely fantastic to have you here. We're going to be back on schedule with our our daily episodes going forward here on the channel. So if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave those. And of course, if you are enjoying the series, definitely give it a thumbs up. Anyways, ladies and gents, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And until then, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.